Hey everyone, I want to show you how to make some of these magnets uh, from the paint that drips down from your acrylic pores and how you take these glass carbachons, I think is how you say it, and you put on the paint skins that you end up pouring and then you take the magnets and you put them on the back of it. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not doing any pourings right now, is I'm going to go ahead and pour up some of the colors that I want and let that dry for a couple of days. So here is how we kind of do that. And this does not have to be exact. It doesn't even have to make a lot of sense. And I'll just get some of the colors I like. Now. And this is just to kind of create skin that you can let dry. And then you're going to come up with things that look like that. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll be back in a couple days. Okay, it has been a few days. This is dry. You can see you can peel it right up. And what I'm going to do is take these carbachons, I believe they're called, um, and find spots where the design is interesting. And what I'll do is go through, and they kind of magnify, so things you didn't think would look good are really, really very cool. So run it over there and find some designs you like, some squirrels. Uh, colors, all kinds of things. And what I, oh, there's a couple. What I use is the diamond glaze. And that was too much, but that's all right. Because that will cut right off. And when this dries, I either take an X-Acto knife or some scissors. So that is how you do this part. You go through and you just find all your neat little areas. And sometimes it takes just running this over to find some interesting spots. Okay, we're back. We've got our carbachons glued on our spots. There's one over here that I light. And we're going to cut them out, glue them on our magnets, and we'll be done. I typically just go in and I'll cut these skins down to a workable size. Set the other to the side because I might want to do some more if I look hard enough, but I wanted to do just a few for you. Go through and trim this. You can do it with an X-Acto knife, scissors, and there that is. It's nice and smooth on the back. I do angle it in just a little bit because I want the underneath where the skin is to be a tad shorter than the outside. Let me see that. And then there's those three. And then I use this diamond glaze 
to attach all the magnets. It just takes a little bit because it does spread out. Push it on there. You see how little I'm putting on there? And this will finish this up. In no time, this is strong enough to hold. Now these magnets are a little bit smaller, I'm sorry, smaller than the carbochons. You can get the ones that are as big. Um, it's kind of up to you. And there they are.